Our top story at four, the largest local teachers union is on the picket lines protesting the San Diego Unified School District. The two sides failing to come to an agreement after calls for competitive wages, more school nurses and counselors. KUSI's Matt Pritchard is live in Normal Heights with reaction from teachers. Matt? Yeah, so Rayford teachers, they are fed up with their current wages from the San Diego Unified School District, and they are calling for a pay bump to try and match the rising cost of living here in the city of San Diego. Yesterday, there was a massive demonstration that took place. We'll show you some video of that up on your screen. And dozens of educators, they were standing on the picket line with signs in hand ahead of the regularly scheduled school board meeting. As you mentioned, there's a whole host of issues that teachers are pushing for outside of those pay demands, including smaller classes sizes and more staffing, counselors being a major priority in all of this. And we spoke with several teachers who outlined what they're feeling during these demonstrations and what steps they're willing to take to influence change inside the district. We're working without a contract. It's been going on for over a year now. And we're still, and that's, that's extremely important for the community to understand. We've been working without a contract for over a year. And regardless, we're not backing out, we're doing our job, we're supporting our kids, but it's about time that, you know, we end this. I work for a school district that's pretending to be a bank. They've got over a billion dollars in the bank. They've talked about giving a 9% raise this year. They've been waiting a year to do that. That's about $10 million for every 1%. So they said they're going to give us a 9% raise. That means they've got over $900 million sitting in a bank somewhere instead of in our pockets. You can certainly hear the passion behind their voices there. Essentially, the teachers union is asking for a 10% raise this year, an 8% pay raise the year after that. And we also reached out to San Diego Unified to try and get a statement on all of this. District leadership said they weren't able to comment right now because they feel like negotiations are progressing. So perhaps by night's end, Rafer will have more information to share about all of this. But if they can't come to an agreement, the union says they're ready to declare an impasse and take this to the next level. Rafer. All right, Matt Pritchard, we know you will stay on top of the story. We'll see you in, in uh, one hour, sir. Thank you.